Hi everyone, That Cat Mommy here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about puzzle feeders for your cats. So my cats are a little on the chunky side, and puzzle feeders have really helped them not gobble up all of their dry food. Now we do feed them a majority of the time wet food, but they scream and raise all holy cane if they cannot get to their dry food. So they are obsessed with it. I know a lot of other cat moms out there have that problem. Like they cry and they scream and this one beats the crap out of this one when there's no dry food to be had. So we have to give them dry food, but we don't want them eating a ton of it, gobbling it up all at one time. We prefer them to eat wet food. And the solution that we have found that works really well for that is puzzle feeders. Now, our cats are food motivated. They love dry food. So puzzle feeders have worked really good for us. You might see a difference if your cat is not food motivated. If food doesn't really matter that much to them, you don't have an overweight kitty or a big, we call it big furred around here, um, and you don't have a weight management problem, you might find that puzzle feeders don't work for you. But I'm gonna give you guys a review of four of my favorite choices. I'm also gonna link to them into the description below if you guys want to go over to Amazon and get them. The links will be listed below. So let's jump in to the first one. So this first one is a puzzle ball, and I'm gonna show you guys a quick clip of Boo actually using this puzzle ball. So this puzzle ball is really cool. It um, is dishwasher safe, which is awesome. And you can see it helps with the cats move around um, as they eat. So they're not gobbling up food. They actually have to move the ball around in order to get food to come out. And Boo took to it very quickly. Now, this was one of the first items that we bought. We actually put their food in it. Obviously, for this demonstration, I just use treats because they have been eating today. They're already their dry food. And I wanted them to be able to show you how this product actually works. Now, the cool thing about the puzzle ball is it does get them moving around, interacting. It is hard to get the food out of this. It's not super easy. Uh, one of the things that I didn't like about this was that if you have carpet and your cats are messy eaters, you end up with cat food all over the floor. So you need a rumba or something to help you clean up or you're gonna have cat food all over your floor. Obviously, if you have hardwood floors, you would just need to sweep. So we use this one mostly just for treats now, but you can see he's so excited about it. Um, but you can see he's used to using it um, often. So this is the ball puzzle feeder. The next puzzle feeder that we actually got, I love, and it is Cat Amazing. Okay, this is cardboard, which is really cool. And our cat got so good at this puzzle feeder that we actually had to make it harder. So I shoved toys into it to get it so that the holes, to close up the holes, and we put toys inside to keep him from being able to figure it out. But Basically, you just put treats inside of it, and they and it's it's so much fun to watch them do this. And I'll show you guys a a quick clip of Boo Bear playing with it. So the cool thing about this toy is it encourages your cat's natural instincts to explore, scratch, sniff, and find things inside this box. Uh, we love to watch the cats play with it. He's gotten very good at it. I can't recommend this toy enough. Very, very cute and fun for you and your cat. So again, you just put treats inside this. It provides them with entertainment, enrichment, super fun, amazing product from cat amazing the next puzzle feeder we got and this is the one we're actually sticking with here boo you can play with it right here this is the one we're actually sticking with to house all of their dry food and this is the cat it puzzle feeder one of the cool things about this it does come with a mat so if they uh, do like to pull the food out of the container and eat somewhere a lot of the leftovers or remnants stay on this mat. Uh, it was very easy setup. Basically, it comes with these little cups, this white plastic holder, and then the mat that goes underneath it, and that's, they just put it together. It took like two seconds. 
Um, these cups do come out safe for cats. It does have that plastic. Um, you can totally wash the entire thing, which is exactly what I did the first time I got it. And then, you know, regular cleanings for it. But this makes it a lot harder for them, again, to gobble up food. And we put, we fill this up twice a day with a half a cup of food. So they get a half a cup each of dry food and then they get unlimited wet food. And we noticed that it's not gone immediately, but they were very easy to figure out how to use it. Come here, feet. And I'm gonna show you guys um, exactly in this little short clip how simple and easy it is for them to use this feeder. So here is my little boy, Feet. Yes, that is his name, Feet, if you haven't been on my channel before. Um, but you can see how easy it is for him to use it. He just sticks his little tiny paw in and digs out the cat food, and there you go. He's got it. And they, he took them no time to learn how to use this. Super simple and very effective for a greedy kitty cat eater. All right, guys, this is the last feeder. This is also from Cat It. This is the new model. They have an older model, apparently, that they were using before, but I bought the new model. This one, for me, is a bit challenge too challenging for my cats. Uh, I noticed that when we put the dry food in here, they would, one of them would try to actually try to get it out and the other one was just totally not interested in it at all, could not care less about this thing, even though he loves dry food. He was just, he couldn't figure it out. Um, so I think this might be a better bet for a kitten uh, to train on, but it's a really, really cool toy if your cat will get into it. Um, basically, you put the food in the top and then they have to navigate it through this maze and it comes out the bottom here in this tray, which also helps keep the cat food off the floor. So in concept, I loved it. Um, also easy setup too, it just basically came in two pieces. Um, the base does lock into it. Now my boys are big and they did not knock it over. I've seen some reviews online saying people saying their cats just knocked it over and it was pointless. So I'm going to kind of show you guys like I'm smacking it and it's it's moving as I hit it. So if your cat is super aggressive with it, I guess they could knock it over. Let me see if I can smack it over. Okay, yeah. So I can smack it and it falls over. But I mean, I hit it pretty hard for it to do that. Um, but again, like I said, I think it might be a better toy for a kitten. Or um, My cats just, they had a hard time with it because they knocked it from here and then they get it here and they just, they couldn't figure out how to get it out. So again, maybe if your cat is super food motivated and you really want to give them a hard challenge because you're trying to do weight management, this might be the cat tower for you. So I'm going to use treats in this and not cat food just because I want to see, I want you guys to see what they do with it. Um, but we're going to show you guys in this next video clip what they thought about this puzzle feeder. Okay, so here you see feet playing with it. Now, the hardest thing about this toy is there's a plastic rim around the edges, which keeps the food from falling out the sides. They actually have to knock it down in the holes. And my cats were super confused by that. Like, they didn't understand why they couldn't get it out the side. So, it might be good if you're weight training, um, but Boots wanted absolutely nothing to do with it. Feet did play with it for a fair amount of time until he got a little pe few pieces out, but it was hard. All right, guys. So I hope Hope you enjoyed this short video about the puzzle feeders that you can use for your cats if you did make sure you give it a like share it with another cat mom who might be interested and if you want more pet review products from me then make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to get notifications whenever I go live. Again, if you want to get any of these products, just make sure you check out the link right under this video. Until I see you guys next time, keep living your most perfect life.